Hi, hello everyone. Today we learn about chapter 5 function and graph. In this chapter, we will learn about 5.1 function and graph, 5.2 composite function, 5.3 inverse function, and 5.4 exponential and logarithmic function. In this video, you will learn focusedly about 5.1 function and graphs, which is specifically to define a function. So what is a function? Function is a relation from set A to set Y, such as such element in set X correspond to the one and only one element in set Y. As you can see in the diagram here, we will consider input S and function really as a machine and it will process and become an output which is F of X right here. So this is set X, set Y. So from X to B or to mapping into Y, that's we will use F, the function. So X here we consider as a domain which consists of A, B, C, D and Y is a range which is 1, 3, 4. We don't consider all of them as a range. Range only for the element that mapping from S. If you consider the whole thing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is a codomain. So you have to distinguish between range and codomain using this example. Okay, the same already stated here. So remember, to become a function, only one-to-one -one relation and many-to-one -one relation are functions. So let's take a look. What is the meaning of one-to-one -one relation? So let's say set X and set Y. So for one-to-one -one relation, A will be into 1 at Y, B will be into 2 at Y, and C from S will be into 3 at Y. So only 1 into 1 at y. So this is what we call 1 to 1 relation. We can also represent this relation using an ordered pair. So this is an ordered pair. We put a curly bracket at both ends. And then every set we will write in form of some sort like coordinate xy. Remember coordinate xy? So something like that we will use in order to represent in form of ordered pair. And then let's take a look what is many of many to one relation. So again, we'll use set X and set Y. So A will be into one, okay. But here B also may be into one. So this is what we call many to one. So A and B will consider as a many which is greater than one and maybe into the same element at y that is at 1. So many to one relation, this is what we call many to one relation, which is also we consider as a function. And this is one to one, like the previous as, uh, at a. So this relation we also consider as a function. So if you write in form of ordered pair, so coordinate A1, coordinate B1, some sort of coordinate, so this is the pair, and then C3. So this is in form of ordered pair. Okay, now, after we already learned about one-to-one -one and many to -one relation, let's take a look what is the meaning of onto. So onto here, but Let's take a look with this example. Look at the first one. Why this one we can we don't consider as not onto? 
what do you think yeah because of 4 no element is mapping into 4 from x that's why it is what, what we call not onto the rest it is one to one right but since 4 is not mapping from x we consider this one is not onto so here for onto one in one and onto yes every element will mapping into y right next this is in form of graph right so in form of graph what kind of graph is this straight line yes this is what we call linear so for linear graph every element is mapping from x to y so this is what we call one on one and on two and this is x x q eh? which is qubit function so qubit function also we consider as one to one and on two so now let's take a look at example one indicate whether each of the following set defines a function set the find, find domain and range for each function so the question here given in terms of ordered pair okay this is what we call ordered pair remember right so from ordered pair we need to change into set s and y and then we mapping the relation so negative 1 to 4 0 to 3 1 into 2 and 2 into 1 so from here the question asks us to find domain and range so right here domain would be so since we have negative 1 0 1 and 2 so write each of the of them as a domain so negative 1 0 1 and 2 right so how about range so range would be 4 3 2 1 correct no this is not correct okay we shouldn't do like they we need to write in form of ascending order so do not write like this. Instead, we will write like this. We start from the smallest into the highest. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, this is the correct way how we write the answer for range. Okay, next. Okay, next question B. So, this is the question. So, from this ordered pair, we change into set x and set y and then mapping all the relation right 3 into 2 and then lastly 1 to 1 so look at what happened when we mapping 1 into 1 so you can see here 1 from x in mapping into negative 1 and 1 at y so what is the relation rate in this case is it 1 to 1 or many to 1 no, it's not. It's neither one to one nor many to one. It is actually one to many. So we find out that in this example, so write down here one to many relation. So this is one to many relation. Therefore, this is not a function. So do we need to find a domain and range since this is not a function? Yes, of course. So no need to find a domain and range since this is not a function. Right. Next in question C. So this is order pair. And then as you can see below here, they already show in form of set s and set y with its relation so what's the relation in this case as you can see here one is 
mapping from 0, 3, and 4. And then 2 is mapping from 1 and 5. So this is what we call. Yes, this is what we call many to 1. So since this is many to 1 relation, therefore it is a function. Okay, so since this is a function, then we can find out its domain and range. So what is the domain? Remember, we need to write in, in terms of ascending order. So the smallest one would be 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. How about the range? As you can see here, we only have two elements right here. So 1 and 2. Right. So this is the answer for question C. Right. Before we end this video, let's take a look how we write the function notation. So, the first one here, it is what we call rule of correspondence. And then the second one here, this is set of order pad that is already discussed in, uh, in example one, right? However, these two not commonly used. So, we, what we all, uh, usually use is the last one, that is f of s, this is what we say, f of s equals to 2s. So, this is what we call function notation. So, this notation that we use extensively in this video and also another video in this chapter 5. Okay, this is what we, I said just now f of x okay this is that's all for this video we we'll continue with the next subtopic thank you very much